Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com, and I am looking to get you started with Pebble Time on BlackBerry 10. So let's get going. When you first turn on your Pebble Time, it will prompt you to install the Pebble Time app in order to get your watch set up. You can either borrow an Android device or you can sideload it onto your BlackBerry device or use an app such as Snap to install Pebble Time. And be sure that you are looking for the Pebble Time app and not the Pebble app because the Pebble app is for the original Pebble. So just go ahead and download from the likes of Snap. Once you've installed the app, open it up and you get started setting up the app. Now if you can see here on a square device this also happens on a, on a passport as well. Uh, there isn't any option for you to kind of continue. If you have a Pebble Time there isn't really an option. So you're going to have to zoom out here. So you swipe down from the top of the screen, you can size and you zoom out. This is generally you have to do on the square screens uh, uh, BlackBerry 10 square screen devices. So just click on change and you can see it zooms out and you have the option there I have a Pebble Time. So you just go ahead and tap that and if you have a Pebble account you can just sign in if you have uh, you know an existing Pebble you would have an account already otherwise just go ahead and create an account. Once you've logged in just go ahead choose your country get all set up and continue. It will then look to um, pair with your Pebble Time. So with the Pebble Time showing up on your device just tap that to pair and you'll get a prompt on both your watch and your phone and just tap the tick on your watch and tap yes on there and you get a vibration on um, your watch and just tap yes here to trust it and it shows up on your watch here as you can see. So that's that complete. Um, it will update your watch um, at the beginning as it did mine but I've already set it up before and updated so it will tell me it's up to date but it will go through an update process and you'll just hit update and you'll see the progress on your watch anyway. So we'll go, just go ahead and continue but that is all you really need the Pebble Android app on BlackBerry 10 for. For notifications and everything else you're going to need a watch called Talk, uh, an app called Talk to Watch. You're going to want to just open up Talk to Watch Pro once you've downloaded it and it will then attempt to connect to your Pebble. You've already kind of, it's already paired through the Bluetooth, but um, if it's not, just tap scan here and just choose the Pebble Time device and it will connect. And you get this very nice kind of welcome on your watch. So that's you ready to receive your notifications. Now, up here by default, just the first three uh, will have color on them, and these two will be turned off. So this is how it will look like when you first use uh, your Pebble. And basically, that means you won't be receiving notifications for those, and you'll just be getting them for this. Uh, you can tap and hold here, and then choose the emails or or what no what kind of message notifications you want to receive them for, and just keep them ticked if you want to, to receive them to the watch. You'll see this mark as red unticked here by default. Basically, if that's ticked, any messages that come through to your watch will be marked as red in the hub. It's it's kind of automatic because obviously if, you've, if it's come to your watch, you're going to glance at your wrist and see what it's all about and you can have it marked as red automatically if you want. So that's that. And um, so to get to settings for each of these, you just tap and hold them as such. Here's your calendar. So if you have any calendars on your phone, you can take them to say, you know, to push calendar events to your phone as well. And the calls doesn't really have any settings there, uh, but turn that on if you want to receive uh, caller um, call notifications to the phone. 
when you tap these for the first time it will actually bring you to a login screen to log into those accounts and then you can go ahead and tap and hold to bring up the options of what you want to receive to your watch and same goes for Twitter oops um, you can do that obviously if you have so many followers uh, following so many people tweets can get quite annoying because it will, it will just keep coming to your uh, watch and you don't really want that so I turn them off and just have direct messages and mentions come to my watch but if you don't follow too many people it's actually quite cool because you can do things from the watch you can uh, um, perform actions and we'll cover that later and you can see here there's BBM as well uh, we'll look to do that in a while but let's move on to notifications just now so when you receive an email to your watch this your this is what an email looks like when it comes through to your watch I just sent myself an email and you can see here you can scroll through it there's a nice little am animation as well that happens on the pebble time um, now you can see this little dot thing here and you can respond to emails I uh, can tap that and dismiss. Dismiss will basically mark that as red on my uh, in the hub, or I can reply. Now, if I reply, this is actually some. These are canned messages that you have on that you can set up on your Pebble um, on the Talk to Watch Pro app. If you go to the settings for the messages, and you go to messages right here, these are canned messages or templates if you like um, that you can use to reply to the messages so some of them there will be some default ones already in there like okay uh, but you can add some more edit the ones that you don't want and that's what these are the things that you'll see when you reply to a message via your pebble watch so if I select reply here voice doesn't quite work for us blackberry 10 users template is those templates and emoji is actually you know little emoji that you can respond to as well so i'm just going to go back and show you template and these were the things that you saw i'd set up um in the template area so i'm going to send okay to that message and that will be sent off so that's something you can do to both text messages that you receive and email messages and that's also going to come back to my phone because I've just sent it to myself so that was actually the reply um, right there so you can see how email notifications come through to um, the watch and how you can also respond to those in, in, a, in a fashion from the watch and this is what you get when a Twitter notification comes through nice little bird icon so it differentiate when you get an, an email um, come through you get the little uh, envelope a tweet you get the Twitter bird and again you see that little dot there in the center on the side uh, which means you can do things with this so you can retweet a tweet or you can favorite it just as that. Fortunately, you can't respond to a tweet. Obviously, that's going to require you to write something. Even canned um, responses are not available for this, but you can favorite them too, as such. And when BBM contact, uh, BBM messages come through, you get something like this. So, BBM contacts ID 206. What does that mean? Well, it means a BBM message has come through and the contact ID is 206 so you have you have to go into your BBM messages or your hub and see who the last person to message you was and in my case this is a group so I will go to the talk to watch app right here and you go into the BBM settings and then BBM contact then you put in details of this group so this group was this is a pebble group and the ID was 206 so you set that up like that just okay that so just dismiss that so you see you can't see the contents of a group 
Now the next time the group chats, you'll now get a message up there saying who it's from. The ID will always show, but now earlier on it did have unknown contact and now you can see that it's labeled Pebble BB10 group. So that's how you set up uh, BBM uh, on Talk to Watch Pro and that's what that BBN contacts here is all about. So you can keep setting that up for people and in order to receive something like that initially you're going to have to tick that unknown contacts but once you've set up the kind of groups or individuals where you know you, you have labeled all of them you can untick that and then from then on only the known contacts which you've set in here will actually come through to your pebble. So that is the BBM part of Talk to Watch Pro. And like I said, you can't see the contents, but at least you'll know where it's from. And you can label this for individuals as well. Uh, there's a sports function. And basically, if you just wanted to, you know, uh, log your run, you just turn on sports. And then you start. So you just tap that middle one, it will start. So that's the duration. It will then pick up your speed um, and all sorts of tweets. Tweets are coming through. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a sports function on here that you can use. Battery will send battery details of your phone to your uh, Pebble and screenshot will obviously take a screenshot of what's on there and this is great for developers or you know reviewers or anyone who wants to get a screenshot of the phone or even users who want to kind of relay something they've seen on their screen to a developer or anyone else um, to see. But you can access all of this via the phone without having, via the watch without having to use the phone and it's called script mode. And if you go into the music um, section right here and you just press that top button here three times one two three there this is uh, called a uh, script mode and you can scroll through those scripts uh, so yeah these are the kind of messages oh. back uh, favorites are the things that you saw there a screenshot battery so you can access this so if you wanted to know how much battery life you got on your phone you just kind of oh, just got to tap and hold and then it will request that you don't need your phone that can be in your pocket and you can access all those script modes if you know how to use uh, you know make up JavaScript on yourself um, you can make your own scripts but there are some there by default that you can use probably not something you know you would use regularly but it is there now you can see music is something we can uh, control Okay, so I'm playing a bit of music on my phone um, right here. Okay, now you can see I'm playing some music here. I can pause it as you pause and play. So you go press and hold. I can go, I uh, can repeat the track or go forward a track. Okay, but I can also control the volume. If I just press this, you can see that changes. And then the volume's going up in the music. I can go down. So you can control music there and also you can get the you know details of what's playing as well. Now you can see that Facebook is available there, but at the time of writing this post and doing this video, um Facebook changed their API on there, so none of the Facebook notifications coming through, so the developer is working on that. Um, but that is really um, a look at getting started with the Pebble Time on BlackBerry 10 devices with Talk to Watch Pro. And calls that come through, you'll just see who the call is from. You can't answer it from your Pebble, but if your phone is somewhere in your pocket and you're out and about and you don't really hear it, which sometimes, you know, I don't hear my phone ring, at least it will notify me on my watch and I can see who's calling me and I can take out my phone if I want to answer it. So, that is the Pebble Time on BlackBerry 10 with Talk to Watch Pro. Thanks for watching.